guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is leah um before we get started today's verse of the day is john 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life so because of god's unconditional love and the sacrifice of his only son jesus christ you can believe in him and allow that belief to change your life um if you stay faithful God promises us that we won't perish but live forever in the eternal family of God. So I just encourage you guys to open up your Bibles and get to know who God is. And it's not going to be a perfect journey. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this verse of the day. I hope it spoke to you. And as always, thank you Heavenly Father. And let's get into this video. Okay, so I did prep my nails. Um off camera so i did go in with some oil and some top coat just to um do the pop-off method because i'm not planning on keeping these nails on for like a long time so i did the pop-off method um so we're gonna go on using these unagella nail tips i got these off of amazon um i use these for practice i usually do use the apray gel x nail tips um but I prefer to use these because they're very affordable to um, kind of just do practice on. So yeah, I will link these in the description below. Um, when you're finding your nail tips, you want to make sure that they fit side wall to side wall. And if it's too big, you can just file the sides down. Um, otherwise, it will pop off if you don't get that perfect um, size. Um, yeah, so we're going to be going in with this nail glue from beetles and i just do a thin layer on it and then kind of just um brush off that excess on there and we're gonna hold an angle and gently press down and if you see me go off camera it's because i did use my led flashlight um the one that i used to use did break down so i bought this one and i actually like using this better it's just more convenient for me but um, yeah, if you see me going off camera, it's because I am curing my nail for 30 seconds. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that for the rest of these nails. And then once I'm done with all of them, I'm going to cure my whole hand for 60 seconds. So after curing that for 60 seconds, we're just going to go in with these nail clippers and we're going to clip down our nails to our desired length. Um, I'm doing about medium to long length. Um, and then we're going to go in with some straight edge nail clippers and I'm just going to clip, um, just clip it a little bit more sharp to give me an easier time on filing when I go in with the hand file. Um, these nail tips already have a nice shape that I like so you don't have to do too much but I'm clipping it down to give it more of a um, tapered nail look so yeah we're going to do this to each of the nails and then we're going to file them down. Okay, so now we're going in with this 100-180 nail file and we're going to gently just sharpen out those edges to make it more of square shape. Um, I did not film doing the rest. I did the rest off camera, but um, just so you guys can see how I get that perfect shape, this is how I'm doing it on the thumb. Um, and then we're going to go in for to seal our cuticles. We're going to use a sanding band. I'm only using the sanding band for these nail tips because these nail tips are very thin. Um, so they kind of blend in very easily. I usually go in with this um, nail bit right here. It's a card by nail bit. 
um and i just use that one when i'm using the uh, prey nail tips but yeah i'm just going in with the sanding band to um it does the same work for these nail tips as um the card by nail bit would so yeah we're just gently blending in that fake tip into our natural nail and then we're gonna just buff off um that logo that is on top of the nail So after buffing our nails and wiping that excess dust off, I'm going to go in with this gel polish I, I got off of Amazon. Um, I will link it in the description below. But this is going to be our base color and we're going to do about two coats of these and you just want to make sure that you cure for 60 seconds after each coat. So after curing those coats um, for 60 seconds, we're just going to go in with some orange gel polish that I got off of Amazon. Um, it is by Model Ones. And we're also going to be going in with a liner brush because we are doing a basic standard French tip for this nail. Um, yeah, I do have more in-depth videos on how I do, how I get that perfect shape for my um French tip so if you guys want to check that out it'll be below um, but yeah we're just going to do a standard French tip and then we're going to cure this one and move forward to doing a ombre for our next nail
so after curing that French tip, we're going to go ahead and do an ombre on this ring finger. Um, I do have a video posted. It's a pastel ombre set that I did. And um, that's just a more in-depth on how I get my um, ombre on gel -X. Um, But you just get some base coat in the color that you're using. And then you want to make sure that you have an ombre brush. And you kind of just blend in the, the color with that base coat. Um, and just blend is until you, um, to your desired liking. Um, it obviously, you can see it didn't take that much for me to blend this one. Um, so yeah, after we're done blending it, you just want to make sure that you cure that after, uh, cure that after for 60 seconds. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just mixing um, some oranges and a white because we're going to be doing a marble and ombre effect for our index finger. Um, and in the beginning, I did have some blooming gel from Beetles. So that's what we're going to be using to kind of give us um, that, that marble effect. Um, so yeah, so you want to go in with a thin coat of that blooming gel. Um, you can see I'm putting it on the tip of the nail and then we're going to go in with this just any kind of brush um just kind of scoop up those colors and gently just put it on there um and this blooming gel is what helps get the marble effect um i really don't have to do much um but while it's still like this we are going to go in with some base coat because this is how i do the ombre method and we're going to blend in those colors with an ombre brush to get that ombre effect and yeah this is how i do my marble this is how i do my ombre it's very simple um yeah so now we're just going to cure that for 60 seconds in our nail lamp
so now we're going to be using some top coat and we're just going to go over that um, French tip and we're also going to be going over the ombre nail. Um, I'm only doing this because we are going in with some acrylic powder to get a 3D effect on our nails. Um, so you just want to put top coat on those two fingers and then we're going to cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so on that pinky, we're just going to go in and do a crocodile print on here, a 3D crocodile print. Um, and we're going to go on with the liner brush and just kind of pick up some of that excess polish that we've been using and draw some lines. And you don't want to cure it when you're finished with this. You actually want to go in with that acrylic powder. And I'm using clear acrylic powder from Model 1s. Um, and we're going to just pour it um, smoothly all over the, the nail while it's still wet and then we're going to cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is what it looks like after curing. We're just going to go in with the brush and dust all that excess dust off. And yeah, that nail's finished with. Um, I think it came out super cute. We're kind of going to be doing a similar thing to this finger. The only difference is we're um, going to be drying some like swirls on this nail. And we're going to put the clear acrylic powder on top of it. And we're going to do the same process that we did with the pinky. And we're going to cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to go back in with our booming gel and we're going to put that all over our um, middle finger and we're just going to be doing another um, crocodile print. It's just not going to be 3D. Um, yeah, so we're just going to gently brush that on our nail and then I'm going in with this peach color. I used this for the marble um, and we're going to go in with the dotting tool and just draw some lines and allow that blooming gel to kind of expand um, those lines um, and then we're going to cure it for 60 seconds. so I did go ahead and add some jewels I just did some cute little gold crosses and some butterflies 
Um, now we're just going in with some top coat on the nails that we didn't already do that for and we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. I hope you guys like these nails. I had so much fun doing these. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos.